Welcome back, everyone. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, we are here, officially sponsored by Wizards uh, and MTG Arena this uh, today and for the week. Uh, so thanks to Wizards, gave a bunch of codes to give out for free Throne of Eldrain packs. So I'll be sending those out to a bunch of people on Twitch uh, and YouTube uh, tonight, hopefully. Uh, so check, uh, I'm going to randomly give them out in that case. Uh, so all day today we've been playing some off-meta kind of brews trying to play as much of non-Simic decks, non-Flash uh, decks as possible. Um, so we've, been play we've played uh, Big Chandra, like Big Red Chandra. Uh, we've played Red White uh, Affinity or Artifact Aggro. And we played Black White Life Gain Aggro. Uh, right now what we have is a Blue White God Eternal Oketra mid-range Hate Bears uh, Blue White Creature deck kind of. Um, so God Eternal Ketra, whenever you cast a creature, born cast, not resolve, which is good against Flash, you get to create a 4-4 black zombie, uh, and then uh, when it dies, it goes third from the top, and then it's a 3-6 double strike. So we have a lot of creatures with uh, reasonable enter the battlefield effects or attack style effects. You have Giant Killer, which can be used at instant speed to kill a big thing, and then you also can tap down creatures, so it's kind of a tempo-y play. Tithe Taker slows down the flash decks by making them pay one additional mana. Uh, it's also Afterlife, so you get a 1-1 Spirit when it dies. Fibble Thip is basically just a 2-mana 1-1 that draws you a card. Brazen Borrower, as you probably know, is a flash threat that can bounce as well. Deputy is good at exiling stuff. Um, kind of control the board elements of it, um, so kind of tempo out your opponent. Unbreakable formations here, mostly for the Fires deck main board or anything with board wipes, can also be used aggressively to put counters on our team. Uh, Gideon Blackbade uh, can make our stuff have lifelink, vigilance. It's also a threat to kind of uh, exile permanence. Uh, one Dovin. Uh, Dovin is a way for us to gain card advantage. We have a couple flyers and ways to get flyers, so we can chip and damage that way. can gain us some life as well, and then it basically super dig through times. Uh, look at 10, put 3 in our hand. Uh, Teferi, this is a fringe card. You've probably never seen and constructed before, but uh, Teferi is awesome if you're playing it. Horrible if you're not, but slows down the flash decks. Tempo play, can bounce fires, uh, can deal with elements of the Cat Oven as well. Uh, also shuts off Ember Cleave from coming down at instant speed. Uh, Elite Guard Mage is a 4 mana, gain 3, draw a card, 2, 3 flyer, so some good overall kind of effects on the body. Uh, Conclave Tribunal is a way we can exile stuff main board, um, dealing with Planeswalkers by having a lot of cheap creatures, a catcher as I mentioned at the get-go, and then two Depose Deploy. Um, front hand can be kind of a tempo play, you can tap stuff down if they try to go for like an Ember Cleave turn or something, also draws you a card. Back end gains you life uh, and creates tokens. Uh, mana base wise, I actually forgot, that was the one thing I forgot with the deck. Fable Passage. For Fable Passage, because we don't have a, the temple in these colors, we're going to be playing Fable Passages, two Castle Arden Veils as creature lands. Sideboard wise, uh, we have Devout Decrees versus Red and Black, Disenchant versus like Fires, Oven style decks, Aether Gust versus Gruul and Friends. The same full stroke against like the Flash decks, the Simic decks, Fires deck, uh, Veto versus kind of control-y uh, counterspell deck matchups, uh, Prison Realm when we need some more spot removal, and two Time Wipes. Um, if we fall behind on board against like Gruul or Fires, it's a way to reset. Also, although we're playing creatures, we can bounce back to our hand, get utility off the enter the battlefield. There's also the way you can like bounce uh, Deputy of Detention to get back whatever you deputied and then you can wipe their board of creatures. So it's a cool interaction there as well. So we'll play it through some rank. We actually moved up, we were up to Platinum 3, and then we uh, we took a rough one. So we will fire it back up. Where did all my decks go? Oketra. Okay, Um, not an Esper Control, it's uh, blue-white mid-range, so more creature-based. Um, I might have a, like an Esper deck there. Uh, we played it last week, we played Esper mid-range, like uh, Esper Turbo Citadel. It was awful. Uh, if you're interested in seeing it, the video is there, but 
very clunky. The mana base is quite awful. Uh, if you want to play Esper, I would say the Stacks list, the Doom Foretold list is your best version. Um, which uh, we played against quite a bit, but haven't played too much. Um, probably keep this hand. I'm not going to Giants Killer on one yet. We don't know what we're going against, so I'd rather keep it as removal. A 1-2 one, a one, on 1 doesn't really do too much. Golgari. So it could be food. We don't know yet. Deputy is actually quite nice. Yeah, that cat, uh, anything with Bolas. I play uh, four color fires in uh, Pioneer with like super friends stuff. So I do like me uh, some Bolas boys. Um, here, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the edge wall for now. It gets some card advantage, so I'd rather not. And Tithe Taker probably has more utility than trading with Falmire right now. That's actually great for us because we can just giant killer this on their upkeep. I'm going to probably hold it off so I can play with Oketra. Um. Because we have another blue source in hand, I'm just going to get white. Like we have two islands. I want him to... Oh, you know what? Because this is the Henge deck, I want to kill this before they could play Great Henge. So they have to discard Lovestruck Beast. So, quick catch there. This is probably Kavartex. Uh, Adventure Henge deck. If they poke in here, we'll take the one damage. So next turn we get two zombies. Hey Davi Demma, if you actually hover right over here, there's a little widget that you can um, check out. Oh, are they going to fight that? Okay, that's fine. Go straight to the top. Uh, and you can see the deck. Otherwise, I will link the list here. Yeah, um, I'm... Uh, tied to aetherhub.com so all my deck lists are there i occasionally write articles i'll get back to doing it once uh the new set comes out um standard's been a little bit kind of temperamental to say the least um so i could give it lifelink i want to kind of push damage in so let's go gideon Yeah, with uh, Oko gone, it's a lot better. So I'm going to give this indestructible. So they have to trade their board to keep uh, Vivian alive. It's just, there's a little bit too much flash, which makes it difficult if you're playing... Um, like brews, everything's got to be like hyper efficient in terms of answers. Like our position right now, we can poke at Vivian. They can make like Paradise Druid bigger, but it's not enough to particularly kill. I was playing Flash, um, like to get up to Di or whatever rank I'm at, whatever this one is Diamond, Platinum, Platinum. Um, but then I switched to the, actually the, um, the Rakdos Cleave deck is really good against Flash and Fires. Um, it really just kind of makes it so your opponent has to like answer you or die. Um, so here, 
here I'm actually gonna let's top you down. Let's give you indestructible. So you go here. You all go here. So Gideon's actually been doing a really good job just pushing. Uh, um, with Oko gone, so Fire's had a hard time against Oko, particularly because it just came with a steady stream of bodies, plus it can just elk all the Cavaliers. Um, Fire's is very powerful. Um, like when you're dropping two five fives, like five five mythic bombs each turn, and then being able to pump your mana into stuff like Kenrith to draw cards, or um, what else is it? Uh, Castle Vantress to kind of smooth things out. So you're getting a lot of that before. Like it sucked against the food decks because you usually couldn't grind out. Like, Fires has a pretty good just straight Nisa matchup because you can deal with their lands. But, like, Wicked Wolf was tough to deal with. Like, a turn two Oko, you usually were too far behind with Fires. Okay, so we got a second one here. Um, I would imagine that they... So this is actually interesting. Do they take out Gideon? Yeah. Because Gideon could exile there. Pwn's still on the back foot. Like we're dropping a catcher next turn. Giant killer is also nice. So I actually think this turn, I'm just gonna giant killer this. Play out another one. We lose out on the zombie, but it lets us get really aggressive with our opponent and try to close the game faster. All you needed was Mystical Dispute on one, and then you win. And then they just draw naturally into another one. The old turn two Oko, turn three Nisa. Actually, that uh, Leyline Bant ramp deck that we played earlier today was kind of gross. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to tap down you. The Death Touch is something I'm more concerned with. Um, here, I don't particularly want to lose my deputy of detention, so I'm going to keep it back. Uh, sorry, not reclamate. It was uh, leyline, not reclamation. So it used um, leyline of for vitality, whatever the green leyline is that doubles all your tap mana. So game one, they had two ley lines into uh, it was two ley lines into Paradise Druid into like Kenrith. That's fine. You murderous rider here. You can draw some cards, but we're pretty far ahead. Yeah, Reclamation's... I like Reclamation when it's not Nexus and when you can play Paper and just kind of, like, say, like, float the mana, go like that. I, the Reclamation ban in Pioneers made me so happy. I hated playing against that deck. Uh, so this matchup. Prison Realm's probably fine. Do we want Time Wipe? Actually... I think I want, nah, Stroke doesn't do too much. Time Wipe's probably, a, I can go Aether Gust, Time Wipe. Teferi feels pretty bad to me in this matchup. 
So we'll probably cut that. Cut Dovin. They didn't really see. I can get rid of Unbreakable. Gideon might not be that good. Like this can tap down. Uh, Nexus and Oko got banned in Pioneer on Monday. Maybe some Teferis. Instead of. Like Tithe Taker doesn't do too much in this matchup. Run it like that. Like Disenchant. There's probably like Henge. We didn't see it. But we can bounce it a couple times and Conclave. I think we're okay. Because I, I doubt they bring in like Brontodon versus us. We didn't really show Brontodon. Like anything meaningful. Uh. Alright, we'll keep this. Uh. Let's put back the Passage. The only Nexus deck I ever liked playing was the Ali Eldrazi's uh, Golos Nexus with Field of the Dead. The Questing Beast here were kind of screwed. Like if they just go love struck here. That's fine. Okay, they go Roddy. So the cool interaction here is Deputy bounces off field of time wipe, so their creature comes back into play, and then it wipes their boards, so then we get to reset it. So like here they probably drop Love Struck Beast. I'm gonna make them bounce it for the turn, probably. Uh, field's difficult, cause like it invalidated so much in terms of like control style decks. Cause like I played decks with like two to three field of ruins and you still couldn't do anything. Um, so the question here is we go Gideon So I actually think we do this. Bounce that. So now they, and we should probably should have waited before playing a land to be honest. We could have played this and play tapped. Because now they need to commit a one drop. See, I found scape shift to be, it was more all in combo where you did your turn, you did what you needed to do, but if you couldn't, uh, win that turn or if they reset with like legions and you usually lost because you took out too many lands uh, but like the golos one was just consistently or even like the yark field the the salt eye one that jeff hoogland put together that one i played a lot as well okay so they respect the fairy they hit us for five so this is probably the time wipe turn oh, there's giant killer do we get like super greedy? Nah, I don't think we could get that greedy. The four for one's enough. All right, so I think we just go Giant Killer, play Giant Killer, so we can tap down stuff. Hallowed Fountain tapped. This is actually good because we could force him to keep sacking stuff. Or keep uh, discarding stuff. Doesn't matter because we are not attacking. I 
Um, there's some Golos Fires decks that have been going around. So we're going to Conclave here to get rid of that. Yeah, there's Golos Fires. Um, it's like a Niv Golos style deck. Um, I think we tried like uh, mono blue or blue white Golos kind of variant that plays like a bunch of tap lands. So they refill in their hand. This turn with Henge kind of got us. Let's just do this now. Second time wipe here would also be pretty good. This gets its attack in anyways. So we're just doing this because we need to keep this up for Rotting Radius Star. Get rid of Henge. Giant Killer has been pretty solid for us. Like, we really just want to avoid Questing Beast here. Or just draw a creature somehow. Ooh, Deputy's nice. Deputy is nice. I think get rid of edge wall so they don't draw cards. We can keep this under control. And then give this vigilance so we can attack in. Like if they want to hit Gideon for two, it's just multiple turns of them hitting Gideon for two. No blocks. Sweet. So let's give you lifelink. I'm just waiting in case they get Questing Beast. The Henge. So we're punished by not, but they pretty much had the mana at this point for Henge. Another Gideon's a little useless. Oh, you know what? I should have given this Vigilance so I could have attacked in. Because they gained two per turn. We're hitting him for five. Could have been hitting him for six. I have enough mana to make tokens this turn. Concern here is if they draw a couple creatures in a row, they can start chaining. Oops, meant to tap down there. Hmm, it's fine. Let Gideon take the two. 
We have backup Gideon anyways. Cool. Got him. 1-0 with the deck. Taking down uh, one of the more efficient decks. I think this top top aided was one of the lists. So let me just give Arena a quick reset. I can hear my computer. We've been streaming for about five hours today, so computer's a little sloggy at this point. So for those who are just tuning in, we are uh, sponsored by Wizards today. So we've been playing a bunch of decks. Uh, we've already played the Big Chandra, Life Gain Aggro, and Boris Affinity. Got a Catcher on deck, and then probably Demir Tempo, uh, seeing how things go, unless there's anything else others want to see. May end up doing some Brawl. I think Brawl. Today's Brawl Day. Today's Wednesday. Uh... It's Wednesday Brawl, so we might play some Brawl after, I think. Mix it up a bit. Uh, so standard rank. I actually like Doketra. I might play uh, Mono White Doketra. Those in chat, is there any interest, like, not maybe necessarily on the stream, but like any content for Brawl? I haven't been doing too much historic. Um, frankly, the videos have been doing poorly in terms of view counts. Uh, let me keep this hand. The Zook Man. So probably gonna go Tithe Taker here and then follow a tap land. Like if they wanna trade, I'm gonna trade here. This also makes it so if they don't wanna trade, this costs four mana to activate. Come on, trade. Why are you scared? Deputy's actually interesting, but I think from a tempo play, we just do that, bounce it, and then I could probably follow it up with deploy, or even maybe just elite guard mage. Okay, so it's a Rakdos deck. Over under on if they read Tithe Taker. Oh, it's during your turn? Oh, I didn't read Tithe Taker. There, you could reset your entire turn. <laughs> gotcha. All right, so we know what they're up against. They don't exactly know what we are. So Devout Decree is good, Prison Realm's good. Uh, time wipe probably just as a catch-up mechanic In this matchup Gideon's probably not as useful actually Teferi is pretty uh, depends if they're the cleave version or not let's keep Teferi in the pose deploy can probably come out because they're not really haste and they're not like super big things fibs is okay giant killer is okay if they pump Maybe cut Dovin, like if they're the Embercleave deck. Our unbreakable Formation could come out. Maybe shave it to Fairy. Go like that. At the worst, Tithe Takers, two blockers. What I don't know from them is if they're the like Cleave deck, the big uh, Rotting Registrar deck, if they're a Knights deck. If they're like sacrifice, I 
Thanks for the feedback, Quantum. I think we we keep this. Okay, so they have fervent. So the tap might be more relevant. Okay, so we're gonna go with the slow them down plan. Just throw to fairies out here and stuff to make their life a little annoying. So there was a way that we could have played this at blocks here. Okay, so they have storm fist. I'm actually going to do this now just because it resets like their turn they don't get the card draw. We're just going to this time wipe. So this is the Rakdos Cleave deck. So second to fairy is fine. So they missed a line drop here, so it is a bit better for us. Because next turn what I can do is I can play a giant killer. Oh, they go Rotting Registrar, that's even better for us. Oh, this might be Spawn and Mayhem. Just drill a bit. Sure. Take the time wipe. A little annoying there. This does keep Teferi alive another turn. Here I can go to Teferi. So the question here, like, do I play one of these now and Dovin? Because they have two, so they could hit for one. They could also Ember Cleave this turn. I think we just pass. Okay, triple. Are you a knight? Okay, you're a knight. I don't know about this brazen borrower. So they can't actually ember cleave here. Because Teferi's passive stops that. So next turn I'm going to throw down a Giant Killer. And probably just dove in. Okay, so they go Knight. So we're going to try to juke them. Let them discard. Let's see what they decide to ember cleave up here. They know about the other giant killer. Can't Ember Cleave this turn. Let's 
see how they decide to attack in. So they've seen this one, so we can kill this. They take out this Teferi. So we got Tithe Taker here. Mm. So I could go Teferi Bounce here. Draw a card. It also shuts off Ember Cleave, which I don't mind. Deputy's not bad. Let's go Giant Killer here. And I kind of want to keep this one in hand. We've seen only one Rotting Regisaur. Opponent concedes. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. 2 0 with the deck. Did we break standard? I think the real reason I'm building this deck is if Oketra is good, I have the SDCC version that's only like 10 bucks right now, and I need to sell it to offset the Nicol Bolas for my Fires deck, which costs too much money. So MTG finance this. Uh, this hand's slow. Let's try. It's actually not terrible against fires. We're getting no catcher banned. It's the new uh, lifestyle slogan. We're gonna play a brawl after. We're gonna make historic Oketra. Gruly boys, Gruly boys. So, Gruly adventures. So we're gonna have to go deputy the first turn. Think we're too slow on the draw. Our hand hasn't really played out the way we want. Do we concede here? Like legitimate. Like do we win from this position? We're taking six next turn. And we don't have time white main board. So if they have Ember Cleave next turn, we're dead. So I can do this. When it dies, it just comes back as a 1-1. One -one. That might make more sense. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to block the Rim right, uh, Rim Rock Knight. Like if they have Ember Cleave, we're dead. Okay, they just go Love Struck. Mm. Like Love Struck also kind of gets us. I think we're dead quite a few ways over. Because the problem is two, we gain three, we take five. The guard mage puts us up to eight. Deferi doesn't do it. No. Too slow. Uh, we want 
Gruly Boys. A card that says put in against Gruly Boys. Do we want Stroke? Probably not. Realm's fine. Uh, we didn't really show him any enchantments, so I'm likely to bring it in. Do we want this? Probably too fringe. Uh, Teferi generally gets cut. Dovin will get cut. Uh, Guard Mage is fine. Unbreakable could be cut. This is actually good against the... See, this one's interesting because it doesn't tap um, Spellbreaker. Tithe Taker's okay. It gives you a couple bodies. Oh, Gideon's bad in this matchup. Brazen's fine. Deputy's just a tempo play. Giant Killer's good. Probably... It's a very cycles and takes a, a hit. So we'll cut down a Ties Taker. Go from there. I, I don't love Deputy in this matchup, but even just as a tempo play, maybe enough to kind of get us over the hump. This hand slow. We're on the play though. No one drop. No one drop. No one drop. Show me the elf. Oh, I draw. No worse one drop. Ooh, fibbles. Cool. It's a fairy bounce edge wall. It's not worth the attack here. So if they have Spellbreaker, they kill, which is fine. But here I probably, probably, um, I think we Deputy here. Because next turn I can Teferi bounce whatever they play. And then also bounce with Brazen Borrower. Oh shit. Well, I could get two bounces out of them. So, because we know their play is most likely Questing Beast, we'll attack in this turn. They're also missing double red for cleave. Let's try to tempo them out. Next turn's guard mage. Prison realm followed up perfect. Just incidental poke damage. I'm having fun, Quantum. The opponent's fun is dictated by my fun meter. Okay, so they go Bone Crusher here. That's fine. Teferi did what it needed to do. Hey, cool, bro. Put that back in your hand. <laughs> I don't want to draw lands, so we're going to do this. Going to get an island here. So I didn't want to draw lands. So we're going to flash and brazen borrower this turn. We're going to take four off the questing beast. But then I have prison realm for questing beast. That's fine. Pelty. This 
turn's fine, in my opinion. You cast Questing Beast. Gruel's like, do I have you dead before you hit your fourth land? If not, then I might be too far behind. The one thing that worries me a bit is we don't have up uh, insurance against. Wow. Drawn a lot of. A lot of lands. Like Embercleave might kill us. Think to be safe. Okay, so they play this. Embercleave tens us. This goes up to four. That 14, 18. Okay, opponent's dead. Thanks for doing the math for us. Um, Deferi was fine that game. Still nothing that really makes me want to change. Probably run it back. Like, it's fine. I don't want to bring in any. Now that they have, we know I have Questing Beast, the pose deploy becomes a lot better. Tap it down. Brazen Bar was something I added right before the stream. Uh, I had two locks it on the, the tap put counters. That card's terrible right now. I had it in the affinity deck as well, and you're doing that and your opponent's smashing you with like Love Struck Beasts on turn three. Uh this hand. If this was a blue source, I'd keep it. Boof. Mm. Awful. Mm. Awful, awful. The fairy's gonna have to pull his weight. They always have pelt on one. So I'm just doing this now, I don't want to draw any lands. Opponent not having a play unless they do uh, the adventure on that dude, Rimrock Knight, whatever it's called. I gotta stop saying I'm gonna fetch with Fable Passage to not draw lands, to immediately draw the land. Okay, so it's five. So probably just prison. Prison realm here. Mm, no, we need time white. sucks because now they seven us and then next turn they eight us yeah the fairy's not going to do it actually maybe so i gotta kind of play the time wipe here giant killer for next turn's a thing Arena looked like it broke there. Problem is, like, Questing Beast lets them deal with everything. Because this gets trampled, too. And we drew nothing but lands this game. Shucks. Two and one with the deck. 
Uh, let me give Arena a quick reset and we'll run one more. I like most of what this deck's doing. How do we beat Questing Beast in haste? Let's take a look. Do we maybe want found Unbreakable Formation, maybe a sideboard card? Where's Prison Realm? Unbreakable, where are you unbreakable? I could type, but I'm brain dead, unbreakable. Okay, do it like that. Kinda hedge the main board. Uh, Prison Realm gives a bit more utility. Like there's lifelink options, we can do Charming Prince. Maybe instead of Tithe Taker, but Charming Prince feels bad. Most of the time, like, I built this deck to go against Flash, and we've yet to play against Flash. I actually haven't... We haven't played Flash all day. It's only when I actually try to rank up with Fighters. Then it's like... The algorithm's like, you want to play Fighters of Invention? You're the deck with 80% counter spells. Opponent's going first, so they're already winning. Oy. In the dark, we keep extremely punished. Extremely punished. Teferi's awful in this matchup. This is mono red aggro. No, Rakdos. Now I feel bad playing Giant Killer. <sighs> Remember when we were playing Affinity and I couldn't draw more than one land after like five turns? Pepperidge Farms remembers. So I can actually tap down, draw a card. Which doesn't sound horrible to me. So we want to do it before combat so they can't Ember Cleave. Smells like a cleave to me. That tribunal's actually not bad. So this has utility. They hit us for eight. Could have blocked there, but I think they put the cleave on it. So I could bounce order midnight. Deputy gets rid of cleave for the turn. So I play deputy at detention. I'm one mana short. If I play to fairy, I could bounce. Ember Cleave, they can't cast it this turn. I draw a card. Kind of got to give up on the Giant Killer. Deputy of Detention. Yeah. Too far behind this game. 
So bounce the Ember Cleave. Draw another land. Opponent's going to try to cast that, realize they can't. So I can play this, exile this, get another white source. Kind of playing from behind this game. Like, I got a block there to get in the point. I don't have an out to this matchup main board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 lands. We drew 11 lands. Alright. Decree, wipe, realm. Do we want Aether Gust? Probably not. Tithe Taker. We come out in this matchup. Giant Killer is good, Devout Decree is good, Fibbles is okay, Gideon's... Why didn't the decklet save? We took out Unbreakable. Okay, that's weird. Our decklet didn't save. Uh, Unbreakable is not needed, Conclave is fine, Teferi is fine, Dovin maybe? Or a Gids. Probably a Gids. Do we want Tithe Taker? Maybe just as a blocker? Cut down Dovin, put in two Tithe Takers. Yeah, I thought this was supposed to be uh Auto Shuffler, tweaked to peak performance. Thanks for the follow, Saggy Sax. Okay, so against Aggro, we are on the play. This hand's actually a lot better. So we're going to save the damage. If that's their whole turn, then I'm happy with that turn. Let's take the deputy. This gives us a blocker. If they go riding Registar, we have three ways to mess with them. Knight. Order Midnight. So this is actually an interesting turn because we can throw the block in front of here. If they pump, we Giants Killer it. May just even Brazen Borrower it.
If they do only order of midnight. They can actually Ember Cleave. Let's see what they do. Oh, this might be Stomp. Okay, you played me. Just bounce this. Uh, this turn, let's just gain some life. The fairy's not bad. Elite Guard Mage holds back. Like, they have to attack with both. To which I'll block the Fervent Champion this turn. Like their turn may just be Bone Crusher Giant. And uh Okay, so they have spawn. I don't care about spawn. So I'm doing this main phase so we don't take the damage. I'm surprised they went spawn there. They they knew we had the giants killer, so I would have led with bone crusher. So I'm gonna force them to pump mana in here. Like they can go Bone Crusher this turn, but they can't play both then. Okay, they go Bony. Uh, to Fairy. So I could go Deputy on the Bone Crusher here. Let's just go you. Because Teferi doesn't do too much in this instance. Like they attack with both. I can plus Teferi, but I don't get much utility out of that. I can Deputy on the Bone Crusher Giant. Takes it out for a turn. I'm worried about an Ember Cleave turn. Let's do that. No attacks here. Ember Cleave's a tough one. Because like I don't want to bounce Order Midnight with Teferi. Because then they get back Spawn of Mayhem and I don't have a clean answer for it. If I do draw another land, what I'll do is Teferi bounce my own Elite Guard Mage and then recast it. Or if they play this Knight of Even Legion, then I'm fine to bounce it again. Okay, so they have spawn. So we're going to reset the spawn. I think that's the play. Take a turn off. It's like two mana. So I could tap down one of these knights.
if they go into Teferi, I think I just let Teferi die. Hey, Bobby. How's it going? How do we win? Like, we need time wipe. That's my guess. Uh, the opponent's just like taking their sweet time for the turn. Okay, so they do have enough to do a couple pumps. So we're at combat step, so I'm going to tap this down. So they have to pump three. They could still play spawn, so... Bye to fairy. Time wipe. Elite guard mage isn't bad. Time wipe. Time wipe. Time wipe. Time wipe. with this opponent. You're the aggro deck. Another land. So I'm actually gonna, I'm probably gonna Brazen Borrower and then throw two in front of the spawn. Or actually I don't have to. Cause if they attack, I'll double block on the spawn of Mayhem. They could do a couple pumps here. No blocks. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, Etra. Do you play at the land? No. Nah. Go to attacks. Attack me, bro. So here, they can pump both of them. So we'll just do it like this. Like they have to sink their mana in for the turn. So they also don't get the card draw. Yes. The fairy stops them for a turn. Actually, I'm going to reset my deputy and then target the Knight of Eben Legions.
So we'll get a zombie this turn. We can't play Brazen Borrower, but we can tap something down. Bone Crusher is whenever becomes a target of a spell. So we can tap down the Bone Crusher if need be. Slowly stabilizing. Sick. Got him. Got him. Oketra. Um, run it back. Run it back. Giant Killer has been really good. It punked us when we were doing the All That Glitters deck. Keep... Time wipes good. So we probably depose by time wipe. I loved you. I loved you. Why? Why you gotta go? Prison Realm. Wow. Especially with Deputy out, you don't... Like, do you know what Deputy of Detention does? Just save a damage. Like, they could have Fry here. Oh, Noxious Grasp. Okay, you jerked me. But still, I have Time Wipe in hand. I'm just gonna Conclave Tribunal one of these. Just follow it up with Oketra. My dog's walling out downstairs. Saves us some damage. Because like, if they don't want to commit more to the board, I drop Oketra. Um, let's go Tithe Taker here. It's a blocker. Might get him to commit a bit more. Ooh, rankle. That's probably enough for us to now sack. Because it make us discard, we discard the island. We're also at five life. Guard Mage is nice. Because they can cleave. We have another island in hand. Let's just do this. 
We'll respect the Ember Cleave. We got Spawn. That was a hell of a top deck. Yes, please. So we could have a Ketrid there. Maybe that was right to get the zombie as well, but... Okay, that's fine. Furvy, not too worried about Fervent Champion. This might be enough to stabilize. You can definitely go on top. We can do this to scry away. I want to get to that Aketra. Fibblethip's fine, only because we can just draw into Aketra and it gives us another blocker. Because like either way, we play either Aketra next turn or Fibblethip and Aketra. Okay, so Knight's a little scary. I'm not playing the land, because I want to fake like we have something. I will happily throw... Hardcast Ember Cleave. You know what I'm going to take? Your Ember Cleave. <laughs> Couldn't really kill them that turn, so I didn't want to go all out. Roddy's fine. Oh, giant killer. You the best. You the best killer. This deck was actually very good. This and the uh, the life gain deck actually caught me by surprise. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Uh, so this was kind of the final list. Um, so there's a lot of elements I liked. Conclave Tribunal is probably a necessary evil game one. Um, but the mix of spells were quite efficient. Giant Killer definitely shone, and Oketra was quite powerful with it going unchecked. Um, just try it out, maybe see what you think if you have any suggestions. Um, so we're probably gonna wrap this one up. Uh, it's about 4.30, so I'm probably gonna wrap up streaming for the day. Um, I'm gonna try to get out all the codes uh, for the arena uh, packs. So I think they're Throne of Eldraine. So, uh, We'll randomly do it uh, to people on Twitch as well as YouTube and Instagram. So uh, check in next time you're logging in. There might be a code waiting for you. Uh, but appreciate the support nonetheless today. We hit four decks. Uh, one, I'll have the uh, the second deck, the Black White Life Gain Aggro, uh, on YouTube as well today. Uh, the others you can catch uh, tomorrow and Friday. Um, 
but let me know what you think and if you enjoy this kind of concept these uh non-meta decks then let me know if you have any preference of kind of ideas build around cards stuff like that and i could take a stab at it because uh as much as you i'm probably tired of flash fire and ramp that kind of decks anyways thanks for tuning in everyone have a great evening or day depending where you are in the world and catch you later